Welcome to the Como Airfield cultural video. These pictures were taken over 35 years ago by John Hocknell, the officer in charge, or OIC, of Como Patrol Post, and later local government advisor to Tari Local Government Council. This video does not have a soundtrack, and the sounds you will hear have been added later. John and his wife Morag had their first child, Craig, a Hellerman, when they lived in Como. They later moved to Tari. The producers would like to thank MCJV for financially supporting the production of this video for the people of the Como region. MCJV hopes that you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello, this is John Hocknell speaking. The 16th of September 1975 saw Papua New Guinea gain independence from Australia. On the evening before independence, the Australian flag was lowered for the very last time at Goma Patrol Post. This was a very solemn affair. As the officer in charge of the Como region, my official duties included being the local court magistrate, the district administrator and advisor to the Como Local Government Council. The Australian flag was presented to me by the most senior policeman. This was one of the proudest moments of my life and I have kept this flag at home for the last 35 years. At one minute past midnight, Independence Day commenced with the lighting of the biggest bonfire ever seen in the region. On the morning of the 16th of September 1975, the Papua New Guinea flag was raised in the presence of government officials who had flown in from Mendy. Raising the flag commenced the full day of celebrations for the people of the region, many of whom had travelled for days to reach Como. Nearly 2,000 people turned up to celebrate Independence Day. The Independence Day organising committee had pulled together a range of activities including a parade of all of the school children in the Como Basari region, a greasy pig chase, and a greasy pole climbing competition. These school children will probably remember this day for the rest of their lives because of the significance it has for the future of their country. Government interpreter Halle Kali explained to the councillors and the gathered crowd how the day was going to be organised and instructed everyone to move down to the Como Oval and line up in their school groups for the parade. Everyone listened intently. In the background, as Halle Kali is speaking, you will see a sign above the door that shows that this is the Como International Airport Terminal Building in 1975. Being September, the wet season was about to begin, but thankfully the rain held off until later in the afternoon. The day continued with the parade on the Como Oval, with all school children from the Como area, plus some children who had walked all the way from the Basavi region. These children are from the first year in the newest and most remote primary school in the region. Everyone waited patiently to follow the high school students who were about to lead the parade.
A role play took place depicting the coming of the white man and recruiting of police, interpreters and other men to work as carriers and general labourers. This parody went down really well and to much laughter. The head policeman and interpreter pretended to call for recruits as general labourers and policemen and patrol officers for the future of the Como region. These new recruits were then assembled for their initial training, which mainly comprised of teaching them their left from their right. This was important for marching on parade, which they did every morning at 8.15am, outside the patrol post general office. Oli try hard long give him school long or long this a talk talk long han na kais na look him here em all man here all put him han na policeman and put him kais that's all all yet all put him han em all ten him this a lad na bad na bad my son Craig em all send one pole Hell I picking any through you. Toy Ken, the office clerk, also got dressed up for the day's celebration. Part of the celebrations was to release a greasy pig. Unfortunately, it was very tired and hot, as it had been tied up all day. And when it was released, it was caught very quickly by this very lucky man. The greasy pole was also erected and covered with prizes. Unfortunately, later on it started to rain heavily and we decided to cut down the pole. When the prizes hit the ground, the assembled children went wild in a frenzy of gathering up the fallen booty. Em Mary belong me morag. Em look in this lab, D.Y. Name Ting Ting. Mikalap him or Nogat? Em Ting Ting Nogat here. Traditional dancers from the Como and Basavi region dressed for the occasion and danced for our entertainment. One dancer dressed as a spirit and caused the children to run and hide. got into the swing of things. So did many hoolies.
This aerial view of, of the airstrip at Como shows how few people lived in this region at the time. The name of the airstrip is highlighted by large stones that were painted orange. This location was chosen for the Como patrol post and airstrip because it was one of the few flat areas in the region. Whilst awaiting the birth of a new Hellerman, our son Craig, I was required to visit the various patrol posts in the Heller region, including Margarima, Tari, Korova and Como, to replenish their cash. We did this on a regular basis to top up the money held in the treasury offices to enable them to pay for road contracts and the wages of all the government workers. This included flying over Lake Kutabu and the Vasavi area. In 1975, Mendy looked particularly good from the air, especially the brand new hospital. At Basavi we dropped off some Queensland Blue Cooch grass runners for planting on the airstrip in an effort to consolidate the soil. 